Hello. In this tutorial, we will write a Python program to convert decimal numbers to binary, octal, and hexadecimal. Now, if you know, if you have studied about computers, computers don't actually understand our language. Like what we have, I have written over here. Computer does not understand the way it has actually written. So everything is converted into binary numbers. Computer only uh, understand the binary numbers which are in the form of zero and one, zero and one, zero and one. Okay. So if you don't know, I'm going to give a little intro about uh, the number systems. The, this, the decimal system is based on 10, like 10 uh, symbols from 0 to 9 are used to represent a number. Similarly, binary number has base 2, which is, uh, there are only two numbers in binary 0 and 1 and for decimal. We had 0, 1, 2, up to 9 and in octal we have 0, 1, 2, up to 7 and in hexa we have 0 1 up to uh, 9 these are in hexa let me write i'm sorry and decimal okay and binary okay and this is octal okay and this is hexadecimal and then hexadecimal from you have 0 to 9 which are 10 numbers and then A, B, C, D, E, F, six numbers. Okay, so these are your hexa numbers. Okay, so a binary number with a prefix. If you have prefix zero B, that means that number is a binary. Is considered as binary. And then if you have zero O, that means that number is octal. And if the prefix is zero X, that means that number is hexadecimal. For example, we have sixty. This is a decimal number. And we write zero B, and these values are actually binary values for a. This is a binary representation of a 60. So this octal represents 60. Oh, not octal, but binary. This binary represents 60. And then you have 0, o, which means this is the octal number. And 7, 4, which means this is 60. This is not 74. This is actually 60 value in octal form. And then you have 0, x, which means uh, this is hexadecimal form. And then you have 3, c, which is the hexadecimal representation of a 60. Now, Python has three beautiful functions. Um, Bin, which uh, converts into any number into binary, and then you have op, which converts any decimal number into octal, and then you have hex, which converts your uh, decimal number into hexadecimal. So let's use these and print them out. So if I have a let's say number equals to, I take the same number 60, let's take 60 and let's see if these built in functions actually work. So I have a print and I print it, and in bin method, I gave my number. Similarly, I print this one and in octal I give my number. Similarly, I print this one and I give uh, num into my hexadecimal. So let's see. So there you go. We have 0b, which means this is a binary number, and then we have 1, 1, 1, 1, double 0, which is same over here. I guess I just missed one oh, more over here. Yeah, 4, 1. Okay. And then I have 0, o, which means this is the octal, and then 7, 4, which is the representation of 60. And then I have 0x, which means this is the hexa. And 3c, which is the hexadecimal representation of uh, decimal number 60. So these uh, bin stand for binary, oct stand for, uh, stand for octal, and hex stand for hexadecimal. So these three numbers are used, three methods are used to convert from decimal to binary or octal or hexadecimal. That's it with this tutorial, and I will see you in next tutorial.